wish. Before we start, we have to do our daily salute. I love you, bitch. For the first time in a while, actually, I got fully ready. Yes, I'm wearing a hoodie, but that doesn't matter. I did my hair. Can you guys give me a round of applause for that? <laughs> While I was curling my hair, I burnt the shit out of my face. It woke me up, but now I'm ready to film this monstrosity that we're about to embark on. Do you guys know what month it is? It is Pride Month. And a lot of you always ask me, Jordan, are you gay? Jordan, are you a little, are you a little, I was on the plane with the wine. Do you identify with the alphabet mafia? And my answer to that question is no, 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 no. Never. Last night I did not say LGBT. I said S I N. I never said LGBT last night. I said S I N. I actually am, yes, indeed, a flaming fat. I did in fact come out of the closet before I started YouTube. I never got that like giant triumphant video that's like coming out. So today, whew, today, today I will be calling a select few, um, como se dice, homophobic churches. There are some churches out there that don't like my kind. Not welcome, will burn in hell. What if I were to call these homophobic churches, assuming that they have like a front desk person, or like, I don't know, like a priest on deck. I don't know how that works. But what if I called and came out of the closet to them? Because I'm assuming that the responses aren't gonna be too nice. But that's the point, you know? Like that would be a funny video if I called and they were like super accepting. Like I want them to tell me that I'm gonna burn in hell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Especially Instagram, because if you guys go follow me and DM me random numbers of your friends, parents, ex-boyfriends, whatever, I will most likely end up using those numbers and calling those people. I'm like not trying to offend anyone. If you're of any religion, this video will be showing how rude these individual churches are or more so the people that work at them. There we go. Any church I do end up calling, I'm not going to disclose where they are, the name, or what religion it is. So there is one church that I actually don't care about exposing. It's the Westboro Baptist Church. That church is the one that went viral a few years back because of how incredibly homophobic they are. But I kind of want to call them first. Westboro Baptist Church is closed right now. Damn it. At the tone, please record your message. Hi. I just wanted to get something off my chest real quick that's just been really bothering me. And I wasn't sure if you guys are uh, accepting of this or not, but I am a gay lord. And is that like cool with you guys? Can I still come to service? Or is that like not, not it, not chill? <laughs> the fact that it's sitting on someone's voicemail. Okay. Thank you for calling. We are sorry that no one here is able to answer your call right now. Please leave a message. Return your call as soon as possible. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I choose life. So that's a bust. We need to try harder. Are no churches gonna pick up? Guys. Guys, guys, guys. This is so unprofessional. I will not give up. I don't care because I know, I know that there are plenty. Why is my dog barking? Like, shh, like that's the thing. Like, shut the fuck up. There are plenty of churches out there that could potentially be bad. What church do I have to call in literal Alabama? So basically, I just spent, I think, a good, hmm, three hours calling churches from around the world. Just kidding. From across the country. And I maybe was able to get on the phone with like almost 30 people. A lot of them were boring, but just f***. Way because when I tell you, I think there's about like four. I had a few bad ones. Yeah, I was expecting to get a few judgmental people, but I was not expecting what I just experienced. So I'm only gonna show you the entertaining calls, the ones I called from in the country. Wow, roll the fucking clip. Hello, thank you for calling Resurrection. 
This is Marjorie. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, do you guys have someone I could talk to that about something like more personal? Well, it depends on how personal I am a pastor here. Is there something that I can help you with? Yeah, more of like something that's just like weighing down on me. And I wasn't sure, like, are you someone who I could talk to about that? I'm more than happy to hear what it is that you have to say. But remember, God is listening. Okay, so basically, okay, both of my parents are like really strict. Oh, yes. And so I don't really have a lot of like people to like talk about this situation with. Um, are you hurting? Yes, I am hurting. Okay, is there something that we can help or maybe I can forward you to, is it a home situation? Is there something that you need to know for our shelter? I'm, I'm not really- to take care of kids who don't have a good home life and I'm happy to forward you on. I'm not really sure how to say this. I'm like kind of new to the whole like religion thing. Of course it is. It's always a good time to find faith and some of us reach it a little bit later than others, but of course. Is there something, would you like us to invite you to a service? There's something that you, that you might want to know. Okay. Recently, I was- um, I was watching Spider-Man with my family and Tom Holland popped on the screen and that's when I knew. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I'm not, I'm not understanding. Is there something, is there a problem in that? Do you just like the movie? Are they making you watch things that you're uncomfortable with? How can I help you, son? I think I'm gay. <gasps> okay. Is like gay okay? Well, I just don't know if it's, uh, it's a choice, uh, of course. Something that you can, uh, you see. Like if I were to come to the next Sunday service, which is, which is tomorrow, would I be accepted into open arms? Well, I think we should talk about this too. I just think that you might be a little bit confused. I, I think it's something, I think before you join our congregation, you should probably look at a couple of things and really be honest with yourself because as Ephesians 5.25 says, for husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He gave up his life for her between a man and a woman and if we are all created in the eyes of god and the body of god we are finding that there was a man and there was a woman but find that if you see yourself as other um it's just a choice and it's something that we have programs for and we're able to enter you in those programs and that might be something that you want to look into i wouldn't have you jump necessarily right into our services i would say that more of a transitional time might be great for you they are counseling based programs and they help people find out the reality of who they are we guide them in a new way through talk through talking about it or similar to what you're feeling and we will just help you unfeel gay is not okay it is just not uh, real senator ted cruz once said stopping bad things is a significant public service there are very few people who enter the program because there are very few people who um will talk about those feelings because they're not right um, it must be difficult, of course, to know that you're not correct in your thinking, but um, we just re-guide. Alrighty. So we just put you with a very small group of people, and we have you come in on a different day than the majority of the people that are here, the public, if you will. And, um, and then we just have you kind of enroll into what it is that you are looking to find, which is freedom from yourself. Right. I think that that is all. I just wanted to let you know that gay oh. is not a choice. This, well, I mean, this might take a little bit of time, but I do find that you, I mean, we have 100% success. 100% success. Have a good day. Oh, thank you so much, Michael. You have a great day. I'll see you soon. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, my friend. Thank you for calling. Um, what can we do? I was wondering if there's someone I could talk to for like personal issues. Well, that would be me. I am. That's a what can we do for you, son? Both of my parents are extremely strict, and I haven't had many people to talk about this certain situation, and I was wondering if this is like a judge-free zone. There's only one judge. That judge is the Lord. I'll listen to what you want to talk about. I'm not really sure how to say this. I was watching Spider-Man, and, you know, 
Tom Holland um, came on the screen for the first time, and that's when I knew. I think I'm different than everyone else. So I'm just look. I'm trying to get. I'm an old man. I'm trying to catch up here. I don't. He's played by a um, a very attractive actor. What I'm trying to get across is that I think I'm. I think I'm gay. Do you think you're gay for Spider Man? Tom Holland in particular. Tom Holland. That's not a country. That's like a guy. That's a man. It is a full, it is a, yeah, full man. And you think you like the man or the hero? Different is now when I... spider thing? I mean, we have a small church here in Texas, but we have lots of spiders. I don't like spiders, but I do think I am a homosexual. So you think you like men? Yes. How? Is that, is that accepted in Texas? Well, look, it... Are you sure? I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive. Harry Styles is also extremely attractive. Are you sure? Cause I love superheroes too, but that's not who I want to marry. Okay. So are you sure willy nilly? Yeah. Hey, maybe I just love me some, some. I'll tell you the one thing right now. It just started pouring rain and a little hail here. Not sure that the old, that the Lord is in for whatever you're talking about. If you like, and what do you mean we like, you like, Man, because I like man, I got friends. Mine's more of like a, like a, a more of a romantic attraction to men. Jesus throwing hail. I would love for you to come in on Sunday. Who would love to sit and chat. The Lord will set you straight. What the fuck? Okay, so I did some digging. I was on Reddit. It's a number of a of a certain church that is apparently involved in some weird conversion therapy type shit. We're trying to turn hetero people. Keep your head in the game. Hi, I was recommended this number by a friend. Mm -hmm. Is there someone there I could talk to about something Personal? Personal, like what? Well, you see, how do I phrase this? I don't know. I have come to realization that I am different. I think I may be homosexual. Oh, okay. Now I know where to go with you. Now I know where to send you. So, uh, are you looking for salvation? I was wondering if your guys' like, establishment is welcoming towards people like that. Well, welcoming, that's, I think what we do here is we just help you change you with, you know, the love of the Lord, because, you know, get you through this unclear, you know, time. Okay. You know? We lead you to the right path. You can't change yourself. You can't change, men cannot change themselves. Women cannot change themselves. God has to change you. Proverbs, it's, it's, we go through Bible study, and we just, you know, the foundations. I don't want to be saved now, and I think that gay is okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let me just tell you. You're going to need to have that change. So sorry, I think I missed your name. It what was, was it? um, <laughs> Michael Bolton. Okay. Mr. Oh. Bolton, I think that probably what we would do is, are you in the area? Are you in the <laughs> area? Yes, I, I, yes, I am indeed in that area. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know, I think maybe if you want to come check it out, Pastor is a fantastic, fantastic pastor. But if you're not wanting it, then I don't know where we would go from there. Enjoy the sin, then you don't want salvation. Can I give a message to Pastor to call you? Because I think it's important. Perfect. Thank you so much.